Alright everyone, so Batman. Okay, so I have a confession. I, although I am a fan of Batman, I am mainly a fan of the films. I don't have a lot of experience with the comic books. But when I was on a convention uh, in Leeds, City Centre, I happened to have stumbled across this Batman comic. And I was always a lover of the film, so I think it's a win-win situation. So this Batman comic was a single special edition and it was an official comic book adaptation of the Warner Brothers motion picture and I believe it was released in 1989 so that was probably the year that it was that the film came out. The Batman comic book adaptation was written by Dennis O'Neill and the artist was Jerry Ordway who had had a lot of other experience uh, drawing many other superhero classic superheroes such as the Man of Steel. So from what I've gathered, there is a reprinted version that is available on Amazon right now. Uh, the only difference between this and the original 1989 version is, is that the new version contains a lot of the original black and white art on, which sounds like a good deal. However, all the issues that I've heard about this is that people are complaining that the black and white artwork is printed side by side with the original artwork and from what I gather this can like ruin the flow of the story so thankfully I do not have that problem as this is version tends to have both slides or should I say both pages drawn together as our artist has a lot of work dealing with other superheroes it's no wonder that the artwork is very highly detailed and I really enjoy that scenes of the film have been lovingly recreated in art form and the likeness to these scenes are spot on. And can I just point out that, yeah, even the likeness and the drawings of these characters look very close to their movie counterpart, which shows the level of detail that has gone into the drawings of this. I was also happy to learn about some interesting facts, um, is that the story in the graphic novel actually does end with Batman ditching his suit and Knox being found underneath the suit as a means of deterring the police. The comic panels also depict Vicky Vale kissing Knox, which as we know in the final cut is that was actually changed where Vicky Vale actually kisses Knox on the cheeks. However, as a lot of the production had already taken place on the comic book adaptation, uh, it was decided to obviously just leave it as is. So I think it's quite uh, an interesting little alternate ending to the story, which is quite a nice touch. The comic doesn't overstay its welcome either, and follows the film quite well, with lines often taken directly from the film, as well as a few little additions here and there. However, it isn't always perfect, as sometimes I did feel that certain scenes were a little bit rushed. One example being at the museum, where Vicky throws water on the Joker. I loved that scene in the film, but this whole scene seems to play out in one single panel, which I actually thought was a bit of a shame. That being said, this is still a good read, and if you don't mind the black and white artwork, I'd say you should seek, out, seek it out. It's not too expensive on Amazon. Otherwise, going for a second hand copy of the original probably won't set you back too much. And that is that. So there you go, that is the Batman comic book adaptation. So if you have read this before, let me know what you think. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, please hit the like button and click the little notification bell so that uh, you can see what other random thing I'll look at next. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Laters.